15 minutes to go and I check on my truffle and mushroom puree. It's just not coming together the way I wanted. Without any dairy to smooth it out, the mushroom's still grainy. It's just, it's not working. Mm. Need to get that much, much smoother. I'm not getting a lot of truffle. There's another problem as well. I also can't really taste the truffles. Somehow the flavours sort of have gotten lost in the rendered beef fat. It's just tasting more mushroomy at this point. I had some more truffles. I'm going to keep it in the thermo for a bit longer. I'm just desperately hoping I can smooth out that texture and fix the taste, but I'm really running out of time. Calamana, 10 minutes to go! Come on! I really want to nail it today. I've got a whole bunch of components on my bench, and when I start putting together, I can kind of start tasting things together and figure out the best combination of ingredients. And just to give the dish a little bit of sourness, I'm going to pair it with goat's cheese. My first thought is to use the goat's cheese over the top of the dish. But I actually think because it's the main creamy element, I don't have an oil or something here, I actually want quite a lot of it. So I'm actually going to put it on the bottom of the plate and assemble the dish over that goat's cheese. Looking down from the gantry, Callum's using a lot of goat's cheese on his plate. With these punchy black ingredients, one of the hardest things is to get a well-balanced dish. And that much goat's cheese could be really overpowering. I'm really happy with my tender dry-aged beef, but I want to provide a texture contrast. So I'm going to pair it with some black pudding, sliced up and pan fried so it's nice and crispy. I think the combination of the rich black pudding and the tender dry aged beef is just going to be really bold and punchy. Guys, five minutes to go. Come on! Five minutes to go and I've still got my salads put together. I boil some purple carrots until they're stuffed, make a blackberry vinaigrette and mix it with some goat's cheese and use that to dress the carrots. I want to keep the carrots organic and just have it looking really different to what the judges would normally expect from me. It's a chance to show off my dark side. I wouldn't really call Anna the dark and mysterious type, but she's definitely created a dish that is. I'm not happy with how the big block of beef is looking, so I'm going to cut it up into portions for the judges. As I'm plating it up, I'm trying to make it look as gutsy as possible. <laughs> I start plating up my dish, I've got the goat cheese on the plate, blood sausage with a little roast carrots, a shaved carrot as well, little pickled blackberries. I'm working hard to try and create other colours so that it doesn't just look like a big black blob on a plate. One minute to go! Come on! I'm not super happy with the mushroom puree. It's not the best thing I've ever made. Picking the black pantry maybe wasn't a good idea after all but mushrooms go really, really well with beef, truffles go really, really well with beef, and I just think I'm going to put it on. 30 seconds to go! Come on! Come on, Callum! Finish up this. Callum spent the whole cook working out his dish and have to say, it looks really good. job at taking those really tricky black pantry ingredients and turning them into two completely different dishes. Oh, that looks awesome. Well done. Plating-wise, Callum's is looking very delicate and pretty. Anna's looks more rustic, I guess is the word. But it all comes down to flavour. And if her flavour is there with that dry-aged beef, she might have it today. I think Anna stands a brilliant chance of getting the pin today. Probably the best so far in the series. Given how hard that bench was, yeah. the fact that Anna chose black really leveled mm. the flying field. Mm. Because when was the last time you went, went into a restaurant kitchen and they said, just cook black stuff? Yeah. It's certainly going to be an interesting tasting. Can't wait. Shall we get the first dish in? Yes. I think I've kind of got the idea of creamy and sweet and salty and sour, but it's not a combination of ingredients I've used together before, so I hope that they like it. Here we have black pudding, goat's cheese and carrot salad with pickled blackberries. 
Well, interesting. Looks really beautiful. I mean, yeah, it does look beautiful. Um, the combination of you know black pudding, you know pickled uh, blackberries, carrots, little puffed wild rice. Looks really, really good. We talk about a great dish and we talk about lots of things, you know, obviously texture and we get that texture from that wild rice, which I think is lovely. The chewiness of the carrot, that's quite sweet. I think it's a really nice dish. I really like the, the balance of the black pudding against the freshness of the berries. You get the creaminess of the cheese, you get the puff rice, you get the berries, and you get the porkiness of the blood pudding. It's kind of like having an English breakfast, like all on one plate. So you're getting all those different flavours ringing bells. I love the black pudding. I like the carrots in both forms, the ribbons and the, and the roasted. I love the crunch. But then too much goat's cheese. So I'm left with, like, across my palate. That's the sound. Is... Because there's too much goat's cheese. Yeah. Shall we score? Mm. Let's get the next dish in. Mm. I chose the Black Pantry because I wanted to show the judges a different side of my personality, my darker side. I really hope that going big and bold pays off. This is dry-aged beef, carrot and blackberry salad with a truffle and mushroom puree. Mm. Thank you. I don't know what to say. It's not quite right. It does look, it does look kind of scary. It, it does, does, it does look it? kind of horrible. Menacing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Right. Cool, it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> scary food. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it, do it doesn't look quite right, but I got this mm. funny feeling it's going to taste good, Gary. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of flavour on there, you can tell already. Mm. Cooking the beef is absolutely spot on, and it's a great piece of dry aged beef, you can tell straight away. So, kudos to whoever cooked that, because that is rock and roll. I also love the carrots, you know, I like the acidity. What, what have they been tossed in? Goat's cheese. It's goat's cheese, that's, that's what it is. And I think that's a great use of, of goat's cheese. So that's really clever, I like that. The carrots, the goat's cheese, the beef all work really, really well together. Uh, uh, cooking of the beef, brilliant, fantastic. And the carrots are tender, they're not, they're, at least they're not crunchy, which I think is really important with a dish like this. But on the negative side, you know, that, like that mushroom truffle puree has no flavour in it. And I don't like that sort of, the consistency about it, that makes me feel all, ugh. Yeah, you're all ready to dive into the arms of a lovely, <laughs> rich mushroom sauce. It's all slippery and delicious and, you know, loaded with salt and those yeah. earthy, foresty flavours. And you feel cheated. Yeah. You, you, where's my mushroom sauce yeah. to go with that beef? And, and yeah. that's, that's the crudest thing of all to do. So there's some positives, yeah. but there's definitely some negatives. Yeah. I wasn't sure about the last dish, so I scored it that way. And now I'm not sure about this dish, so I have to score it that way. So which one is going to take the trophy out? Let's do it. <laughs> 